is a life I lead in this city. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great start to your day. I had a nice morning so far. Went on a walk with my friend. She came over and we've been doing that every Tuesday. And then we made some pumpkin spice waffles, which are always such a treat. So that was lovely. And then I want to make some veggie burgers now because tonight I'm actually going to Disney with my mom. I'm so excited. I haven't been to Disney in a while and it's so fun to go with her because she loves Disney as well and we're going to look at all the autumn decor and just see what they have to offer. Get some Disney magic in our lives. So that'll be nice and then it's such a beautiful day. I'm so thankful. The weather has been so incredibly lovely so that just makes going anywhere outside 10 times more enjoyable. So that's kind of the plan. And my mom's actually spending the night tonight. So she's gonna have a little sleepover and then tomorrow morning she'll work from here for a little bit and then she'll be off. But it's gonna be a good day and I'm excited to spend it with you all. Where's the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room, but the truth is We have our delicious veggie burgers wrapped green style in the iceberg lettuce. And then I love to make sweet potato fries when we have, whenever we have veggie burgers, but totally forgot to get sweet potatoes at the grocery store. So thankfully we had some leftover mac and cheese, which makes a delicious pairing. Can you tell me what I need? Since my mom is staying with us tonight, I thought I would just replenish the guest bedroom, make sure it is all good to go. I, the first thing I want to do is fill up our little bedside carafe with some fresh water. So we'll take that downstairs, get some water from the fridge. And then here's our little basket. I want to try to see if I have any other goodies to put in here because we just have some body products and a towel. I'm going to re-roll this towel, but you know, we'll keep it pretty simple, but I like it to be nice and cozy. Tell me what you see in me. Am I one of those crazy people? I had this candle left over from my autumn party, so I'm gonna put that in the basket and then this handmade soap bar. I think it'd be cute to put a little sign right here, which is behind the door right where you walk in, saying like, welcome mom, or welcome whoever's staying with us. I think that'd be adorable. Okay, my mom is on her way. I just got ready for Disney, got my ears on, and this is the outfit I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this cute little crop tank with the tie details. 
And then this polka dot tan skirt that I've had for a while. It's great because it's super comfy and flowy, but it kind of has those fall colors. And I have some biker shorts underneath. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my chunky white sneakers and high white socks. And then since it is starting to get a little chillier, I'm gonna bring this sweatshirt that I was wearing earlier today. And if I want to wear it tonight, I it's pretty big because it's an oversized one. This was actually my dad's a long time ago, so it's really cool. It's actually like a vintage Disneyland sweatshirt. Um, but I'll just do the little trick of tucking the front into my bra, so it's kind of like a cropped sweatshirt look. So that's the plan. And then for my bags, I have this cute Minnie Mouse fanny pack, which I love. It's from Stony Clover. And inside I have my sunglasses, I have my car keys, have a mask, because you still have to wear a mask inside, I believe. And then I have some Glossier Ultra Lip Lipstick. This is my favorite right now. And some deodorant, because I need to freshen up. And then my wallet. I'm also gonna bring a water bottle as well, so we can stay nice and hydrated. Oh, and also I'm bringing this hand sanitizer. And on my tote, on my cozy as can be tote, I have a little claw clip in case I wanna put my hair up. So this comes in handy. I just clip it to the tote handle and I have it if I need it. We decided to park at Epcot because we knew we wanted to end the day there and there's a monorail that connects Epcot to Magic Kingdom. So we took the monorail over, which is always just so fun in and of itself because you get to see such beautiful, gorgeous views and it's very pleasant. I love this view of the front of Magic Kingdom. It's just so beautiful. And you see the castle peeking through. Once we were in the park, we just strolled around the Main Street area, looked in different shops, and there were some cavalcades in the streets with such cute and fun characters, so that was exciting. I saw so many different characters that I don't usually see. And then I went into Starbucks and grabbed a pumpkin cream cold brew. I actually like to just get a black coffee, and then I asked for the pumpkin cream on top, and it's super, super delicious. Such a treat. And then I just walked around in the shops and my mom was browsing the shops as well so we looked at the merchandise i saw all the winnie the pooh characters as well which was just so adorable i absolutely love eeyore and his little melancholiness They have some additional decorations for the 50th anniversary, so that was fun to see for the first time. And I just absolutely love all the autumn banners and the pumpkins. I also got to see so many sweet princess friends, which was very exciting. Look how gorgeous they all are. to show you guys my mom's earrings because they're so stinking cute. She found them at a vintage shop in Nashville, so I can't link them unfortunately, but she is adorable. We also checked out the confectionery because that recently just got a redo and it was absolutely beautiful. They really spruced up the place and it was really fun to see that for the first time. And then we had reservations at the Plaza restaurant at 5 p.m. So I haven't been to the Plaza in a very long time. My mom said that I definitely went when I was younger, but I really couldn't remember it. So it was fun to experience it as an adult and take it all in. a broccoli cheddar soup and my mom ordered the Monte Cristo and I had some of that as well which was 
quite tasty and the broccoli cheddar soup was also super yummy. It had a nice kick and spice to it, which I personally really appreciated. And then we didn't go on any rides. We just walked around the whole entire park and looked at the decor, enjoyed the weather. It was such a beautiful night. So it was just so lovely to spend time outside just looking at all the beautiful nooks and crannies. time at Magic Kingdom by looking in the window displays on Main Street and then we went back into the confectionery to make our own popcorn. This is a new addition and basically you get to pick your popcorn base so you can do cheddar, butter, or caramel and then you get to pick your choice of three different sauces. They have white, milk, and dark chocolate and then you also get to pick two toppings. So we did caramel popcorn with dark chocolate, peanut M&Ms, and pretzels. It was absolutely delicious. I think this is so fun and it's great. You can customize it. Then we grabbed a spot on Main Street to watch the new fireworks show. It's called Enchantment and we really, really enjoyed it. After the show, we scurried on over to Epcot because they have a nighttime show as well and it's new. It's called Harmonious and it was also really neat to see the Epcot ball lit up because that's also a new addition. There really are so many new things to see. We went to the new Club Cool Zone as well to try some of the different Coca-Cola drinks from all around the world which is just an Epcot classic. And then we had a nice little viewing of Harmonious that started at 9.45. So much fun I hope you guys enjoyed the footage and this morning my mom were able to my mom and I were able to go on a walk together with Palmer and we had breakfast outside it's been really lovely and super exciting because my mom she's actually building a house super close to us so that's like a, such an exciting thing because she currently lives about an hour away so it'll be nice when she looks closer. So we're excited about that. She's actually at a meeting now for that, her and her husband. So they're doing that right now. And then they'll come back soon. Palmer's playing. He's in a very playful mood if you hear him. 
Um, so it's been a nice morning and now I'm just kind of like getting settled, starting my work for the day. I'm thankful we're able to have a slower morning. We woke up early. I didn't sleep very long, but thankfully I don't have to rush out and do anything. So that's a blessing. And oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, Jesse's over here too. So my mom's dog, if you weren't familiar. So Palmer has been pestering her poor thing. If you don't know, she's almost 17 years old and he's not even one years old yet. So the energy difference is a little chaotic. Come here, Jesse. It's okay. Palmer, Palmer, leave her alone. Okay. Come here. Come here. Yay. Good boy. Anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna get some computer work done today. And then I also have like a lot of laundry. So I think I'm gonna get that going right now. Get that starting, cause obviously that takes a while. And then just gonna lay low today, but excited to spend the day with you. And I think I'm also gonna try to make granola today cause I made pumpkin spice granola a month, a month ago, maybe two months by now. And it was so good. So I'm gonna make some other kind of granola today cause we're running low. So that's the plan. Hi Jesse. is Palmer frustrating? Is he kind of a lot for you? <laughs> the tail. <laughs> the energy level is so different. So I made myself a little salad. I love how colorful it is. So beautiful. And I'll probably have some cheese and crackers as well soon. What it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow and I was down until you saved me until you set me free my eyes were closed now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Ice coffee time with a spill, of course. <laughs> always happens. Well, I shouldn't say always, because we've had a couple lucky days where it's completely mess free. I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else. No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Without you Okay, I've been sitting on the couch getting some computer work done and I'm still gonna do some more computer work tonight, but I want to take a little break, make some granola, and I do have some boxes to open, so I thought we could do a little random unboxing. I have three boxes here, 
and two of the items are for our bedroom because I'm finishing up our bedroom. It's pretty much done, but there's a couple things. No Palmer, he loves to chew on cardboard. That's one of his favorite things. But anyways, um, there are a few things I wanted to get to just like finish styling. And then I want to film a tour of the bedroom and just like share where everything is from, what I like about the room and you know, all that good stuff. Kind of like how I did for the kitchen just for our bedroom. So hopefully that'll be up like next week or something. I'm just waiting on a couple more things. But this is a candle and this is actually a fall candle, but it's very neutral. So I'm going to put it in the bedroom. And basically, I really wanted this candle for fall, but I couldn't really justify it because I already have pumpkin candles that I haven't finished. And, you know, the season is, is going by. So I did end up getting it, though, but it's for our bedroom. Yum. It is a vanilla pumpkin. It's nice and it's a very pleasant, sweet scent, but not like overbearingly sweet. I currently have the pumpkin pecan waffles Bath and Body Works candle burning. Not right now, but like that's the one I've been burning throughout the past month. There's my laundry. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's singing to me, ready to be switched out. Um, but yeah, that, that one's a little too sweet. I used to love it, but now it's a little too strong for me. So I feel like something like this is a lot better. And I like how this is soy. And what really intrigued me is how the wick is this little like wooden wick. Let me see if I can show you better. See that? So I think that'll be lovely. It smells beautiful. And again, just looks very simple and neutral, which the whole bedroom is quite simple and neutral. So it goes along with all of that. And then the next thing isn't for anything particular, just like a little treat for myself. I had it in my cart for a while at Urban Outfitters and I ended up ordering an art piece for our bedroom from there. And so I just ordered this along with that art. Look how cute it is. It's, an, it's a mug. Not that I need another mug at all, but it is just so beautiful and unique. I just thought it was so fun. I wonder if I'll like drinking out of this shape. It's quite different, but it's just like one of those fun pieces that I feel like I would regret not getting. Okay, last thing, it's quite large. This is also for the bedroom and it is a lamp from Target. The candle was from Target as well. And I have seen this lamp online and I just thought it was so beautiful. It's from the McKee, McGee, I always want to say McKee, but it's the McGee and Co. line. Okay. Let's see. It's bigger than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was going to be smaller, but it's great that it's a nice size. It's kind of like, um, it's big, but it's kind of short. Look how cute. It's beautiful. We can go upstairs and test it out. My plan is to put this on our dresser just for another cozy light option. So hopefully it'll work out. Also look at this cuteness that just came in the mail. A little bandana for fall. It's so cute and I love how it says his name. You like it, Palmer? Oh, I'm strong. Okay. Still doing some more styling on this dresser, but I love the lamp. It is so uber cozy and it's dimmable. I honestly didn't even realize that when I ordered it, but it's dimmable so you can make it, okay, I need to find the little knob. It's in front. Okay, yeah, so you can make it nice and bright like that. And I have a vintage cozy light, so it's a nice warm tone. Um, and then you could bring it all the way down like that. So I really, really like it. Just to add some cozy ambiance to the space. Brandon should be home from work soon and then we'll eat dinner and just probably finish the laundry and get ready for bed. The day is already going by so quickly. It's already 6.45, but I still wanna make granola. So we'll have a little granola making session. I was debating what flavor I wanted to go with because the pumpkin spice really was so good. So I was thinking maybe doing that again, but I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna make some sea salt dark chocolate granola. It sounds like a dessert. I'm really excited.
post-dinner decaf cappuccino. How fabulous. <laughs> homemade granola this one didn't stick together as much like in clumps and I did kind of tweak the recipe because I didn't want to make as much as I did last time but it still has fun fun things in it and it's it pretty good. good yeah it tastes good it's definitely not too sweet which is good it's a healthier option cheers <laughs> what cheers. Do I cheers with cheers <laughs> cheers with the granola cheers <laughs> Okay friends, just finished the laundry for the day, made the two beds, and now I'm ready to crawl in them and get some cozy rest but thank you guys so much for spending time with me in the past two days i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and i cannot wait to see you super soon bye, bye. <laughs>